solo shows are sort of an Arlington institution. Um, our mission is to support the work of emerging contemporary artists in the mid-Atlantic regions. So um, by doing this, by having shows where we, we give those artists their own space, we're, we're hopefully expanding everyone's idea about what art is and showing them how maybe their hometown favorites relate to the broader world of what's out there. Some really strong work being made right in our own backyard. So when we boost Mid-Atlantic, it's because um, we want to give a voice to and value the art that's around us. Well, the Arlington Art Center has an amazing reputation. It was uh, rather a coup to, to get the show at the Arlington Art Center. Greg's paintings, you see them in reproduction and it doesn't really help you know what they're going to look like firsthand. They're so meticulously made and sanded and sprayed and resprayed, and the surfaces are just so worked and reworked. They're really complex, just, just delicious pieces in terms of, of just formally uh, gorgeous, but they're also really smart. Usually, when you see a work reproduced or you see a work from a distance and you get closer to it, there's more of a human sense of the work. You see more of what the artist was doing, very painterly, very visceral. And I thought that if there was a way to make things look very active and very emotive and the artist in the heat of the moment and then turn it backwards so that it became about detachment and it became about what is really happening here? Like, is this an original or is this a reproduction? Playing with this notion of what do you expect a painting to look like? What do you think photographs look like? Or where do you realize that there's even this question of authenticity at play? I mean, most of what we experience is actually a reproduced image on a screen. There's not a lot of really good painting going on out there, I feel like, frankly, right now. And what Greg does, I just think is really rich. Well, in general, my work is about the history of materials and the history of family. Um, and so in this show, I uh, proposed that I would work with my mom and we'd always make you know, posters and signs and stuff like that together. But I thought that the piece where we really collaborated the most was on our Halloween costume. And so for this show, I decided to, um, to go back to that. Uh, so some of the pieces in the show are costumes that she actually made and I kind of enhanced them in a collaboration with her to kind of finish them off or add new elements to them. And the other pieces are kind of pieces that I fantasized about being when I was a little kid. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of pairing it with images from, uh, from my childhood that I think led to more of my, my adult family, my family that exists outside of the uh, sphere where I grew up. It's this project that people can really respond to because he's, he's working with his mother. There's something really charming about that at the same time that he's asking some very serious questions. And he's relating this you know, serious, heady, kind of avant-garde idea of art to stuff he did when he was a kid. So that was very appealing to us. There's always a history to the materials, and I think that's one of the great things about working with fabric is it does have this innate history in it. People look at it and they make associations with it. It has a lot of cultural significance as a material just on its own. And so then when you put it into these compositions, it kind of, you know, it strengthens the composition. The, the things that I always see and that I'm always looking for are these kinds of engagements with daily life as it actually is. I mean, people think of, of art and of contemporary art as forbidding, as scary, as somehow not something they have access to. I need a specialist to help me understand this. But the truth of the matter is, I mean, the thing that distinguishes contemporary art from fine art is that it's about the stuff that passes in and out of your life, you know? Uh, uh, Joe Lupo's work is about the receipts that he carries around in his back pocket. He draws receipts, and they're so obviously lovingly, meticulously made, completely out of disproportion with these things that you would discard in a minute, in an instant, every day. And uh, that's another thing that I, I love and that I think a lot of contemporary art says, yes, you can have humor, but we can also explore serious subject matter, and that's what we're after.